Hey buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Overpowered Ireland. We've got some very nice colonies going along here. Again, this is kind of a laid-back campaign. I'm not really trying to achieve anything. I'm just, just having a good time, so let's see here. Tariffs on cotton. So I could gain some military power, or I could gain some tariffs on Irish Cuba. Now, Irish Cuba isn't actually colonizing, so I think... I think that could gain a bit of tariff value, actually, because they're already giving me a decent amount, and their income is only going to grow, so I'll tariff them. Okay. The UK has a colony near me, and it looks like it's over here. All right. Cool. We are going to be building up a colony in Colombia, preferably in this trade node. This is Carib. Looks like a native seed. Civilization. I wonder, would the Micmac become my vassal? Let's see. I have a military alliance and the target country must be at peace, so I might vassalize the Micmac. Or... Well, let me have a look at the culture map mode. I could have them as a vassal. Or I could conquer them, because this place does, in fact, have a claim on Micmac. A Micmac are Iroquois caught. I think I would want to build a little army over here if I were to do that. I'm thinking, like, ten troops should actually do the trick. So, we'll build up here. Ooh, a successful company! Nice, our earnings are increasing. I'm very happy about that. I do want to increase my force limit a little bit. I think I can go... St one over my force limit isn't terrible, actually. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Although my manpower is a little bit light. And we are quite heavy on... We are quite heavy on the colonial side of things. But I think that's where we get most of our value. Um is being heavy on the colonial colonial side of things. End of religious turmoil, really? Interesting, I'm surprised by that. What ideas do you have? Uh, economic trade and exploration, okay. We do have to make that decision soon about what our next idea group will be. Uh, probably a couple of techs away, so not too soon. I like that we're building up this. We could, you know, actually, interestingly, we could start building buildings in our subjects. If we look here, like Havana would give me a decent chunk of trade power, and it would, you know, would increase their income. And I could also do stuff like this, gaining income in some of these places. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'd rather focus on my own stuff. Now, Massachusetts is an interesting one, but I think we've more or less built all these all of these, although there are two more that I could do, and I will do it just so that the development that I do here is a little bit more efficient. Let's see, we've become this very nice puke orange color. It's a very nice color for Ireland. Eventually I want to be green. Again, overpowered Ireland, if that's the goal, is to become a superpower. Uh, there's 100 population, Barbaros. Another colony just finished over here. Let's keep Let's keep expanding Irish Canada with at least one settler. And I think one of my other colonies finished. I'm not sure which one it is. Is it over here? No. Massachusetts finished. Mahican are here. I do want to grab this trade node if I could. And then get up to this kind of an area. So let's make our way towards Lenape. Let's also look at development. Delaware is a good development. So we'll make our way over there. Um, and we'll get these guys transported over to Delaware. Building up. It's going quite well. We are going to want a 
country in Colombia if we can. Colonial Colombia. Particularly, I would like to have pretty good power in Panama and the Caribbean. Um, so it's probably going to be a nation that kind of splits between those two. Get some benefits from that. Let's go ahead and build the final production efficiency building. Now, I also really, really, really want the uh, manpower building because that's going to be something really important for us to maintain a very big and scary military power is having endless manpower reserves. That's going to be important for us. It also makes any manpower development we do uh, much more effective. So that's a nice thing too. Trinidad is now producing fish, grain in Chesapeake, forced migration against Miami. Okay. Micmac. Now, I could probably vassalize them. I could also get them into my trade league. Um, but I think... I think I'm going to take them for myself. I mean, it might not be terrible to have a little vassals over here. If I go ahead and check my dip row... Like, I could have some vassals. Like, that wouldn't be a terrible move. But I, I think I think I'm better off just having super powerful colonial nations. So let's combine these guys together and put a leader in charge. Am I underneath my leader limit? I am. I actually don't have any leaders holding my fleet. So I'm going to get one more leader here. See how good he is. Okay, he's good enough. We'll declare war on these guys. No, I could go for an alliance. I could vassalize them. I'd have to improve relations. Let's just kill them. It's easier this way. Irish Cuba, Irish Canada will be called in. Scotland won't be called, which is fine. We'll go ahead and wipe these guys out. We have a pretty big advantage. I do need to guard my other troops because they might come over here and try to do this. We can also do Irish America here. That will give us plus uh, colonies. So we'll go for that. This is five colon fully colonized uh, provinces in the um, colonial East American region. And we can also import potatoes. Um, you can see the regions that apply here. It's all in the sort of North Americas. We could import potatoes here. That would give us a development cost. It would also give us some extra uh, base development in our capital. Rule Brit Britannia would be nice. If we could finish off all our missions, that could be a lot of fun. Uh, let's go ahead and we've built all the things that we can build in here. I now want to prioritize getting my hands on naval force limit. So we'll get started on some of that. Okay, I lost my conquistador. Let's get a new one. Keep hunting for those seven cities, buddy. Ah, we are being attacked here. That is unfortunate. And um, we're being hunted here. That's okay. This, I don't think this, like, it just prevents my settler from doing his job, I think, if they occupy it. But I think it'll become mine either way. These guys will reinforce over here. It's not the end of the world. Although, I'm surprised. Where is Irish America's, or Irish Canada's army? Oh, there it is. It's actually doing something here now. Attach a siege and get you moved to here. In case they attack over here. May may do that thing. I, I'm missing it in the siege. Looks like he's heading up over here. Um let's see if we can go catch him. You should have a big pretty big military advantage. Let's go ahead and build more shipyards. We want lots of naval capacity. I'll prioritize getting the shipyards and then I'll build up more navy. Um, probably boost all these to 30 each. And that'll be start 
starting to get me a lot of income here. I think it is more effective to put some into the English channel, so I might go up to like 30, 25, 25. I also think more trade income from here is actually really worthwhile. I guess I could add some more. Um, I'm also getting a lot of trade multipliers here. I am being embargoed. But I still have an absurd amount of trade power here. I'd like more if I could get it. If I could get more, I'd be happy. There's no privateers happening, or pirates, or anything like that. So I'd like to retain more, because every point in here that I retain is pretty powerful now. If I can if I can get that up. Because this, this trade node is only going to get more and more valuable as, as I colonize America. So I definitely want to be stopping as much uh, money flowing through here as I can. And any that does flow through, I want to steal some from these two big nodes, which are downstream from me. Uh -huh. okay. okay, we will kill off that army and head back here. That's good. Probably just going to take the land that I can. Excellent. You have been generating war. Okay, how is your army? Let me have a look. Army is still very small. You have a major surplus. I'm not sure what you're doing with your money. Give me your money. Do something with your money. Spend your money. I don't know what the hell you're doing. I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly confused. Looks like there's a bit of another war going on. Oh, hello. We have done that siege. Now we need to do a couple more sieges. Where's your army? Oh, you're down here de-sieging my things. That's good. Um, let's send our settler back here to keep improving this. Santi is occupied. Let's send it back to Delaware as well. I mean, it does slow down the colony, but it's, it's not the end of the world. We're up at 155 um, settlers a year. Barbados became self-sufficient, and Trinidad is almost there as well. So we're going to get started on another colonial thing. I think I want to compete with Spain here. I don't want them to get colonial Mexico for free. So I'm going to start just picking up a couple of colonies. I just want a little bit of this coastline for myself. Um, I think that's going to be pretty important long term. Delaware rose up and attacked us. Get down to Delaware before it gets damaged. Probably won't make it in time, but that's fine. Um, it'll only lose 100 population, which will set it back about a year. Austria did a thing. I'm not going to take import potatoes until I have a lot of power saved up, and then I'll use it all. Alright, what's going on here? Where are you going? Where's my other dude? Still hunting? Okay, good job. He's hunting for the seven cities. We have revealed a good amount of terrain over here. Irish Canada is coming along nicely. So... Let's have a look. Who else do we need to deal with? You guys come together. This is being occupied. How would you like peace? You will not take peace. We are at war with the Iroquois. Get over here. Um, this is being sieged. No, it doesn't look like it. Hamburg joined a trade road. There will be blood. Oh, wait. Who is... Spain looking to declare war on? I need to know that. Where is it? Messages. It set Spain as an interesting country.
Well, I think Spain might have got an event that they were looking to declare war on me. I'm a bit worried about that. Let me have a look. Yeah, they might be going, might be looking for a war with me. They're at war over here, actually. I'm kind of tempted to make friends with these guys. Oh, dear. Let's get peace with Micmac. No, I want your territory. I want peace with Peacock so that you get out of the war. Delaware has attacked us. A great advisor has fallen. We will take the plus two guy, Fort Defense, even though Fort Defense is far from what we actually want. Bremen has joined a thingy. Natives will be pierced. I think I'm going to turn off those. Ah, France declared war on Spain, eh? Okay. This is going to make things very complicated for Spain because they are what looks like in multiple wars across the world. That's going to make things very difficult for them to manage. I am ever so slightly over my force limit. It's actually costing me 60, 0.64 ducats a month, which is not an insignificant amount considering I'm a single force limit over. You can make your way back over there. We'll make our way down here. Okay, I'm going to make my way down here. Austria is influencing them. They now, they occupied Mohawk. Yes, I could steal some of these colonies, um, but I'm not going to bother. Let's see, do I want to keep this guy? No, I want my Republican tradition to build up a little bit. Which house is strong right now? The aristocrat. So I think I'm going to go for a bureaucrat. I want to flip back and forth between military and diplomatic or military and um, administrative so that I, you know, build up a decent amount of each. The guilds have taken over, now it's cheaper to build buildings. Oh dear, I think they wiped out one of my armies. Oh, that's unfortunate. We'll make our way up and see if we can do something about that. Ship durability. Ah, Massachusetts gets coastal center of trade. So... This has important natural harbor. And this will boost it instead of plus. It'll get an ec more sailors, more naval force limit, and bigger institution spread. Very cool. Very, 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 very cool. Let's see if we can chase this guy down. He is locked in, so we should be able to capture him here. Reinforce speed, battlefield medic, natives have risen up. Delaware is now producing tobacco. Let's wipe this guy out. Micmac. Okay, who? Peacock, please get out of war with me. They will take a white piece. That's good. That's exactly the kind of thing I want. Okay, we wiped out that little army. Now we want to take on the Iroquois. It's a pretty expensive war considering I'm only, getting, only wanting to get a single province, but... I don't want to take things that I don't have claims on, because it'll make it hard for my colonies to manage um, if I do that too much. But I definitely want... I'm thinking of getting Irish Cuba to declare war on Hispaniola. They need a bigger army, though. That's the problem. Like, they have the money. They have manpower. Yeah, they can support 13 units. I don't know why they're not at their manpower limit. I'm curious. They have a big cash fund saved up. We'll see. Being attacked by natives in Trinidad. Okay. How many of our colonists are going? All of them. Trinidad is actually almost finished, which is nice. We can start developing more colonies down in Colombia. Although I think I might prioritize colonial Mexico. 
Um, just so I have another colonial con country over here in, yeah. I think that could be good to have a, a little bit of colonies going on down here. If I could secure some of this, like, Panama stuff. Panama certainly um, is an important natural harbour that I want to pick up. And all the while, I want to be developing Irish Canada and stuff. We're, we're developing our nations pretty well, I feel. Okay, nice one. We took that over. Let's go ahead and build some more buildings while we have the cheaper buildings thing. So these cities can support just a little bit more building. Now, I think in my capital, saving um, basically all of the maintenance cost here is worth it. Also, I think I have an edict active here that I should get rid of. In fact, do I have an edict map mode somewhere? Let me see. Yeah, here it is. So I'm going to change this to uh, local trade power. And we should see our trade income jump. Not insignificantly, yeah, half a ducat a month. I think that's worth paying for, considering it's only costing us a very small amount because this is our capital state and we're fully expansionist. In fact, it could possibly be worth it for me to run... Um, to run local trade power everywhere. I mean, let me have a look. So I would gain 2.1 extra trade power. That's like a single light ship. How much does a light ship cost to maintain? A single light ship is 0 0.05 ducats per month. This would cost me um, a bit more than that. This would cost me like... Let's activate it so we can see how much it costs. Because we can always just turn it off. I could also do encourage development if I'm building stuff. That also has potential because we've been doing a lot of that. Um, but if I turn on collect... Uh, protect trade I do lose a little bit of money but I gain a decent chunk more trade power so how much do I lose I lose another say 0 0.6 ducats which is the equivalent of like 12 trade ships so I'm paying like the price of 12 trade ships for like three trade ships of value well, that's not great. Yeah, that feels really, really ineffective. Um... I mean, I make so much money now that I feel like I could run these um, development cost ones. And it would pay off, but I guess I can just turn them on. But it, mm, I might forget. But every little bit of trade power is money, not only that we get, but we also take it away from other people. So that's worth considering too. Then every piece of trade power we can get is always useful. That's why marketplaces are going to be really good for me eventually. Hmm. 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 I tell you what. We're going to stick it on. I know it's inefficient. I know it's not the best move. I think we're going to do it anyway. We're going to put on the... Um, local trade power. Boom. It's going to be expensive to run, but I feel like, you know, I feel like we might get value out of it. We'll see how much this jumps. See how much our trade com income jumps. It's not an insignificant amount. It doesn't quite cover the cost, but I think it's fine. Ah, printing has arrived in somewhere. Probably up here. Yep. Right over here in Anhalt. Now, we are a different we are a reformed religion so we will be getting printing in our territory it's 0 0.305 per month and we'll probably spend a little bit of time developing our capital to get this faster um i think that could be a worthwhile use of my development potential also i just generally want to build up my capital a little bit more um there's more buildings i could build there are Occupied Santi. Now, there's a finished colony. In fact, is it? Yes, it is. Let's have a look. Peace offer from Micmac. Let's get the Iroquois out of the war. Would you just give me... They'll give me some reparations. Cool, that's fine. I'll take suggested demands from them. And then I can talk to these guys. Once my diplomats get back.
And we will... Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to reassign this to Irish Canada. Wait, which colonial? Yeah, this is in Canada. So we will go ahead and take this for Irish Canada. We'll suggest the demands and we will send them. So a couple of our colonies look like they just finished, or one of them did. This is Trinidad. So if Trinidad just finished, let's go start building up colonial Mexico. Now the tropical uh, is painful to develop in, but that's okay. It does hurt to develop here, but it's not it's not the end of the world. Uh, we could do missions, province improvements. I think, again, I want to get these shipyards out. Because that's going to be a huge increase to our naval force limit. Which will mean even more of the trade of the world will belong to me. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go for the traders gaining influence here. Get that global uh, trade power and naval modifier. The aristocrats. Oh, okay. They took it back. I'll get that mercantilism. That'll further boost uh, any provincial trade power we have, making more and more development even better. We have plenty of time to build up our capital, I think. He wasted time but gained good friends. Cool. So let's have a look. What is our... Yeah, we've got a decent amount of force limit now from our nations. Am I getting another trader yet from... Ah, I am! From Irish Canada. So I think... We have one in Ohio. I think I'm going to send this one to the Mississippi River. Because I want to pull this trade value not towards the Caribbean. Um, I want to pull it because a lot of the Caribbean wealth is actually going to Sevilla. I want to pull this wealth up into uh, the Ohio trade node. So we'll go ahead and transfer trade power here. Geroid Mead. We lost some across his belly, okay. You arrive here. You'll transfer that north, see how much these numbers change. Quite a decent amount. So now we're pulling more and more up this way. We're pulling more and more up to the North Sea, and we should start seeing our income uh, going up significantly. We're heading into that sort of early mid-game where a lot of things are going to start changing for us in terms of our income. You can see we're starting to starve out this node and starve out this node of good trade because we're capturing a, a decent amount of it here in the North Sea. And I think paying the extra state maintenance to deny some money to Lubeck and the English Channel, I think that's actually worth it. So let's take a quick look at our spoils of war. Okay, the English Channel and Lubeck are now pretty equivalent. I think they're starting to anti-privateer. Yeah, they are. But Chesapeake just became self-sustaining and I want more here um, I'd like to start taking control of more of the Caribbean but I'd also like to start building another colonial nation hmm that's hard to choose I think I want to build up my nations one by one though these guys are built up to a point where they're useful. So I don't need to worry about them too much. Um, I could probably increase tariffs on this guy. He's a bit of surplus. He's not running a colonist right now. I want to wait till he's reliably running a colonist before I start stealing from him. Uh, too much of his money. How's Norway doing? Oh, Danish. And I don't think that's actually quite good because now the Danish, they don't actually have... Yeah, they don't have colonists, so they can, um, they can't really do anything with this land over here, which is fantastic, because they didn't get a full nation. They can have Newfoundland, I guess. Like, if they want it, they can have it. I don't care about that. Sorry, Newfies. Uh, <laughs> you're low on my priority list. What I will do... Uh, let's focus on building up the East Coast of America nations. This would like obviously Canada is like my most important one because Colonial Canada is going to be the main pull node, um, and a lot of these are inland, so I'm going to be able to pull a good chunk of them anyway. 
But yeah, I want Irish Canada to be pulling towards them. So this is an important uh, trader thing. And then I also want a strong Caribbean so that I can siphon from these dependent nodes. I'm not so worried about South America. I think I'd like to mess around with a little bit of Colombia, maybe a bit of Peru and other stuff like that. I mean, I guess I could, in theory, get all the way down there. Hmm, what do I want to do with this colonist? I think... I think I'm going to start working my way down towards Florida, because this Florida node, uh, this would give me a decent amount of trade power um, that the this nation here, uh, Irish New, New Ireland, which is what it's going to be, I think, because it's supposed to be like New England, it could use that um, trade power down here in the Caribbean to pull even more trade power up into the Chesapeake Bay node. So I think we'll get to work on some of that. So I'll send you to there. Chesapeake is finished. This is Delaware. Why don't you head down to there where I sent it. I'm building a little bit of a mishmash right now. But that's okay. Are you still doing things of use? You are. You're exploring. Very good job. Learning more about this country. Let's go ahead. Or, or continent, rather. Let's go ahead and... I would love to start building some of these manufactories. But I think... I do really badly need this naval stuff. The scarier my navy is, the less likely Great Britain is to declare war on me, which is something I'm a huge fan of. General Flan Lambert will no longer service. He died in the army camp in Meath. Damn. We'll get a new one. I don't want to be undermanned. Get you and you keep drilling. Ah, we have reached 40% professionalism. Very nice. So that is going to give us what in terms of benefits? We still have pretty cheap mercenaries, but we're starting to build up really nice shock damage and stuff. So I'm quite happy with that. What's the combat happening? That's fine. In Spanish Texas. Eh? I definitely want to try to snipe this province if I could. Because that would be a kick in the teeth for Spain, which is kind of my main objective right now. I think, I think I'd also like to assign my guy here, just so I could do a little bit of exploring down here with these guys. And I'm going to send you down to Iskani, because I want to just, I want to know more here so that I can do more colony stuff. Because I'd love to colonize, I'd love to colonize a strip of the continent to really piss off Spain and have a good surface area to attack them. So I'd love to colonize this. Spy network, let's go ahead and build more of these naval dockyards. We are making so much money, it's absurd. 10 gold per per um, thing. In fact, we could probably start running level 3 advisors. Level 2, certainly. So, am I still converting a province? No, I have 100% religious unity, so I could boot this guy and then take Art Lambert. Who I will certainly take, because he actually gives me inflation reduction and an extra admin point. We're running tier 2 advisors everywhere. Exactly what we want to be doing. Um, okay, you're doing the exploring, that's good. Ah, let's see, religious civil disorder. So we would gain five mercantilism, master the mint would leave. I could get them both to leave. I could lose the stability and gain five mercantilism. I don't want these guys to leave because they're kind of good and expensive. Big chunk of Diplo power. But basically, what I'm being offered here is a way to turn more of my money into um, monarch points. Or to convert monarch points into mercantilism. Mercantilism is really good. It's essentially another 10%. <clears throat> Pardon 
province trade power modifier, which again would increase my money across a long period of time. So I'm going to go ahead and take the stability hit um, and play the long game with the mercantilism. Probably not the highest value move, but I think long term it has potential for a lot of value. Uh, wow. You're going to make me pay admin power. Nice. Delaware has become self-sustaining and my sauna. Excellent. All right. So are you, you are brilliant. You are doing this thing that I brain won't remember. Coring, that's the one. Um, so yeah, let's develop Canada a little bit more. I want to have one colonist basically always working on Canada. I'm going to start making my way up to the Hudson Bay kind of direction. It's not the most important trade node, but it is a trade node that has value. Um, there's plenty of trade goods up here, and it's I could just pull that value down towards uh, the Gulf of St. Lawrence with Canada. So we'll kind of start snaking our way over there. Basically, nobody can get to this tile. I guess the other, the alternative thing that I could do is start blocking off the coastline with colonies to make it harder for people to colonize up here. And you know what? I actually kind of like that idea. But we have another guy. I'm going to send it here. Oh, that's really going to piss them off. Why don't you get over there? We can invest in a new technology. I'm not going to do that yet. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to switch these edicts to local development. It will hurt my trade income, but it will mean that I develop a little bit more efficiently. And that's important. Now, in particular, what I want to look for in this round of development, I'd like to improve my capital um, so that I can pick up a big boost of progress towards the printing press. Every time I click this, I will get 6% which is about a year, about a year's worth of um, natural spread. So I also want to get up to 30, 30, 40 development. So I'm thinking yeah, let's go one, two, three, one. All right, so how much did that give us? That gave us a decent amount. Let's see how many years left there's five years so I could probably do one more click of each in my capital or two clicks each elsewhere well I think this value goes up so this would be another few years shaved off the uh, spread of this and I think it also scales based on development yeah so now we're up to 0.6 percent and we gained a huge and our capital is getting really big too which is another my side effect, if I go to the development map mode, you can see capital is getting bigger and better. Uh, very nice. So, probably not the most efficient use of my monarch points, but that's fine. So probably next year we'll switch back to trade goods or something. Bosnia has declared a war with who? Ah, Ragusa, Austria, and Hungary. Thanks. Let's have a look at the political... Like, this is part of the fun for me, is that I get to, like, play the game. Um, but I'm kind of an observer. I'm only really screwing around in the northern... North Americas. Like, I'm not really worrying about what's going on in Europe. France and Spain are fighting. Bohemia is doing stuff. Poland and Lithuania are allied. Russia is doing Russia things. Uh, the Great Horde is somehow alive. The Ottomans are doing Ottoman things. Tunis and Morocco, actually, amazingly, are still alive down here. Portugal does have claims, which is surprising. Now, Portugal's doing Portugal things. Looks like they've only just about made it down to Portuguese Guinea. Um, looks like they're starting some colonies down around here and stuff. And we can kind of have a look at Spain, too. Tunis is warned by Spain. Yeah, look, looks like our people aren't really making their way around Africa. Like, that is something I could do. It's far more expensive to do this but like I'd have to sit 
6,000 troops in here. But I mean, I could start building up um, Thinglands. West African Charter. That's the thing that I could do. I might start doing that. Since I have a much bigger force limit, I could stick six troops down here, forget about them, slowly work my way along the coast. Although I would want to look for stuff like this and this and this. So I might look into making some tributaries, but I definitely want to grab the Gold Coast, I think, with my next um, colonist. I'm half tempted to pull back this colonist, actually. And get started on the Gold Coast. You may as well. I wasn't planning on doing anything like this, but we'll get started. Let's grab some of these guys. We are going to unmock ball you. We are going to grab six infantry. Seems like a reasonable garrison. Republican tradition isn't that expensive to me anymore now that I recover it, so I don't mind losing it every now and again. Um, and we have how much? And we'll go up to 11 infantry in our cap. There we go. That's fine. Our armies are spread across the world, but that our next idea group is going to be um, quantity, so that'll make up for some of this stuff we're running into. This will start eating into our admin costs, though. Tunis declared a holy war on Spain. Interesting. Spain is very strong. Genoa is actually becoming quite strong. Venice is basically dead, which is unfortunate. The ungrateful natives have attacked us. Okay. You're allowed to do that. Yeah, I like the idea of having a global empire. Ooh, I could support the independence of Sweden. Poland is supporting their independence. Now that would get me well and truly above this. But I don't really want to actually fight Denmark. That's the thing. I'll do it. Seems like fun. Yeah, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm getting plus 10 for sending privateers against my rivals. That's really nice. Should could I pick up another rival? That's something I've been maybe looking for. Spain. They are now my rival. I am, after all, a great power. I'm a sixth great power. So I'm getting a decent amount of uh, power projection from that. You can see, just from simply developing our territory, managing our colonies, we have become a very large and powerful empire. I like it. We have joined Sweden in the Righteous War of Independence against Denmark. Oh, I didn't realize England would be called. Oh, shit. We need all of our fleets. Oh, God. They have so many heavies. Let's take it alone. We get four heavies. We need these heavies for power projection and defense. Ah, uh, crap. I didn't realize I made a mistake. I have messed up. I have screwed. I've pooched the screw. Where's my other privateers? Protecting trade. Get down here. Become a super fleet. We need to control the Irish Sea so bad. We are going down to speed three. And I have loans. Well, we're building strong ships. Oh, no. Okay, actually, this is okay because it's my two really strong ships fighting their okay ships. Hmm. We're going to take a military candidate here. Hopefully he gets a good military skill. You're going to go sit up here. Okay, let's have a look at how this affects the colonies. 
Thankfully, my colonial nations are at war. I could potentially seize these colonies here. British Venezuela. Okay, I was planning. That's just going to have to be the way that it is. Okay, they lost three of these. We lost a few of those. It's okay. Let's group these up. Oh, we need to help these guys. Why can't you retreat? Let's get all of our fleets together. You're just my little guardian fleet. Why don't you go hide in the port of Cuba? Havana. Okay. Let's get all our fleets together. This is scary as hell. I might need to take out more loans. I make good money. I'm not getting spoils of war anymore, so that's hurting me, and my trade income has fallen because I'm not protecting trade over here. In fact, that was representing a good 20% of my trade income there. So that might be something worth thinking about. I need you to retreat. You're getting your ass handed to you. I was not expecting to actually get dragged into a war. Um, I should have expected that. But we should be fine. It'll just mostly hurt our profits. I think that's the only downside here. We won't quite make as much money. Okay, this colony is dead. Once this gets sieged, it's all over. And I can't even get my troops out to uh, protect it. Let's get you up there. The only thing we need to control is the Irish Sea. If we control the Irish Sea, we're safe. We're co contributing to the war. England is getting war exhaustion. If we can pull this off. Yeah, my colony was destroyed. Rip. So let's send it to here where I have a troop. Okay. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I would like to start colonizing down here, but this war has made that complicated. Um, quarantine the port, let them die. I have some carracks. They have a lot more than I have, though. Oh, dear. Uh, more loans? Let's also, since we have natural corruption decay, let's debase our currency. A little bit. That'll give me some money to build more fleet with. We need more of these bad boys. They take a hell of a long time to build them. Could I upgrade any of these ships? Upgrading these is efficient on a per ship basis, which means my actual fighting strength is better. But I think it's more cost effective to just build more ships right now. Because I'm not at my maximum uh, thing. This fleet is very big and very scary. Now, we do have some war exhaustion reduction. So even though we're getting blockaded, um, it's actually not too bad. This is terrible for my trade profits. Oh my god, France is dominating Spain. Sweden is... Struggling. We can get a new ability. Anything good? Yeah, institution spread and true faith provinces. We definitely want to get that while we are um, looking to pick up another institution. Out of curiosity, I'm definitely getting it fast in England, I think. Which is good. They don't seem to be getting it fast at all. Spreading quite quickly throughout 
here. And nobody really has it yet, so it's still pretty fresh. So I think I have a good chance of being one of the first people to get it. All right. Let's keep going. Trade League led by Lubeck. I don't think I want to go across the channel into England. I think we're going to hold, hold steady here and hope that Poland and Lithuania can do the job over here while I try to maybe kill a few of these heavy ships. Oh dear. They have a lot of transports. I'm a little bit upset that I lost so much of my navy. I represent so much of this navy. Oh god, I am like all of our navy. I think I'm gonna need naval ideas. Maritime ideas would be amazing. They actually have some pretty good combos with like um, expansion for example, 33% more navy. Um, heavy ship combat ability, naval leader maneuver. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. So let's do something. We are going to do what? Let me think here. This is a lot of ships. This is a lot of ships. I have some ships, so I think I can defeat a naval invasion if I need to. But I'm really not strong enough to really go to war. These guys are too far away to really care and help. The good news is I might be able to steal these. And in fact... I could seize these colonies. How do I do that? Hell yeah. So I need more war score to demand, but if I could pick up these colonies, I'd be pretty happy. I'd be pretty happy with this war if I could pick up these four colonies. So I need to get some war score. And uh, the only way I'm going to do that is with my navy. So we got to build up a navy. And hope that this navy goes somewhere else. That's really the key point. All right, nice. You guys are marching around. So my job here is to really facilitate the enemy navies to die. Okay, we have another Carrick. Let's go ahead and recruit an Admiral. He's a pretty good one. He's got plenty of fire. Decent amount of maneuver. We've got more ships coming. We are going into a little bit of debt, but I'm hoping that we can recover from that debt. Building another Carrick. Let's get another Caraval here. I want to just keep building things as I can. Get a nice big army of boats. I don't mind taking loans. It's okay. We can we can take some loans. Having overwhelming numbers is you know. There's a lot of heavy ships here. That's scary. But I should be able to compete with their heavy ships. Natives are attacking me. Okay. That's normal. My objective over here is to be as annoying as possible. And I think I am succeeding. You know what now is a good time for? More tariffs. Let's see. Irish Cuba. You're not doing any colony stuff. Give me more of your money. You are doing a colony, so I will leave you alone. And you've actually built up a little bit of an army. What is your force limit? Where do I see that again? Ah, they can support 14 land units. Very good. And Irish Canada can support how many? Seven. So they're actually built up pretty quick. 
How about the sailors? Ten naval units. They have how many? Can't tell. And how many can you have in sailors? C. You have up to 19. Okay, so I have a little bit of navy in terms of these guys. But I'm expecting lots of colonial wars with Spain in the future. Okay. Lose colonists in one, we pick up in others. Whoa. Ah, this belongs to me. So I need to send a colonist here. If I recall Tamaulipas, I can actually convert this to my thing, right? No. Whatever. I want to send there. Um, let's keep building up the Caribbean power, though. And that'll be fine. Trader has died. Let's go down to a tier one guy. Global tariffs plus 10%. Yes. I might bring these down to a tier 1 guy too. Just to save me some cash. So that I'm not quite losing as much money as I am. And I don't need to take loans to supply my army. Gain some innovativeness. I will actually take another loan though. How many loans do we have? We have two. Let's go into a bit of debt here. Keep building up our navy. It's our only hope. Mm, that takes too long. I only really want to build caravels in places where it's like sub a year. So my capitals are really the only viable place for that. We need to take on this fleet. And that is going to be tough because that is 12 heavies. And we have... 6... Game one base tax. Yep. We do have a lot of prestige though. And we have a decent naval captain. Okay, this is going to be an expensive battle that's coming up here. Um, Carrot too long. Let's just get caravels. Because I definitely want those colonies there. Okay, you're self-sustaining, that's good. Got another colony on the way over here. New, New Ireland will be formed soon. Is that a colony I spot? No, it's Lenap. I don't mind if the natives pick up my ideas and stuff. Like you see, feudal monarchies are appearing. I mean, that's I'm fine with that. It's okay. It just means that they will develop better. Um, develop their land better. They'll build you know appropriate buildings that I can take over later. And they may even colonize some more of this land that I can conquer with my new, um, my new things. Can I actually make you go to war, Irish Canada? Oh, you're already at war. So I can actually tell you, hey, go take this. And you'll just go do that. I can also help, but perhaps unnecessary. But we have Ulster defended while well. we have a fort there. Okay. I wonder where the English armies are. Because if they're in Sweden, we will reject the reform and gain a bit of inflation. We'll buy that down eventually. Let's see, where's the Polish armies? I don't know why you guys are swinging around here and stuff. You need to be going to help Sweden. Sweden is not going to win this war if we don't help them properly. So let's see if we can sneak into this place down here. Need to watch out. They're going up to the North Channel. Okay. No. We definitely do not want to get into a battle. Hmm. I could hit these guys and run. Get all my fleets in the same place. From the northern side of things. Let's do it. 
We'll rip through them. We'll get all our fleets together. We'll conjoin. There's a battle happening here on the 27th of October. 13 heavies. We want to get out of there. So we lost three heavies. Ouch. Do they have maritime ideas? No. So they will have to go repair. Which gives me an opportunity to get all my fleets together. Into one big death ball. Troll here and actually cross if I want. Give me... Military access. Scotland has offered me a loan. It's actually a pretty good loan. I will take that loan. Damn, I forgot to move. I forgot to rebuild my, um, my dudes here. Let's disband two of these guys then. That's unfortunate. We're fighting the Danish Navy. We're actually pretty evenly matched. I think we might even have a slight advantage here. All right, Golden Era is over. Shortly became self-sustaining. Nice. Let's grab... Which one of these provinces is better? I think grabbing the coastline might be making more sense. There's Honduras. Um, we might be able to win this little battle here. Especially if we can bring these to bear. Yeah, we're crushing them. Their ship numbers are going down way faster than ours. So that is... We killed... We lost a heavy ship. God damn it. But we did kill way more ships than ours. So I think we came out on top there. Even though we lost a heavy. Let's keep building heavies. They seem to be doing a lot for me right now. Three more heavies. Let's get these repaired up. So I don't know where the English army is, but it's not anywhere meaningful. So let us detach... Damage. There's a few caravels here. Okay. We'll get out into the sea. <gasps> okay, these are not their heavy ships. Ooh, this is a chance for us to strike a heavy blow to them while their heavy ships are repairing. We won that battle. Damn. Send this again. I need, uh... I need one in each of these. I thought I had transported people over, but I guess you're still, you know, doing your whole search for the seven cities thing. Um, get over there. Okay, so this is an opportunity for us to kill a lot of British ships. Yeah, we just got nine. We even captured a ship. Very nice. All right. So we have whittled down their army. We have a little bit of war score. Yes. Yes, girlfriend. Give me that war score. So Denmark is struggling. Great Britain is still high enthusiasm, but we have whittled down their navy to the point where it's contestable. Oh my god, they built more heavy ships. Oh my god. We are getting the war goal. 
Did Sweden mine? I mean, I have the highest participation score. Lithuania is in pretty bad shape. I wish I could get my navy over there and break that blockade they have. On Lithuania. Wait, what am I talking about? Lithuania doesn't even have a coastline. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to call that the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. We got ourselves into a little bit of a war that I hadn't planned for, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I do want to delete these two guys because I'm probably over my force number right now, and that's going to be costing me like a ducat a month. Yep. So we definitely want to go below that. Getting 100 population over there. Hell yeah. Okay, so I'll end this once these guys get across. We could invest in new tech. We would get the brig. It'd be an upgrade for the flute. But again, we don't want to do any upgrades until we're well and truly um, in good shape. So I could go try to take this. I wonder where England's army is. Looks like it's down here in Glamorgan. I keep an eye on it. But yeah, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support me. Remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you later, taters. Bye-bye.